I'm usually the type to hold on to things. I guess it's in my nature, but I believe good ideas should be free. Well, let me explain. This place used to be a garage. Back then, many years ago, most of these tools and workbenches weren't here. And a salad harvester used to be stored here for protection from the wind and the rain in the off season. The whole village bought it together to be shared. Expensive kit after all. People were unsure it was slightly too big for our needs, but the harvesting speed went up for sure. On one occasion, we were suddenly struck on a maintenance issue right in the middle of the busiest time and couldn't sort it out. The manufacturer said they were running low on repair service personnel. We couldn't really repair it without special tools and knowledge, so we had no option but to wait and harvest by hand in the meantime. Since then, Years have passed, and now more farmers around here have started talking about building their own tools because they are fed up with some of the nuances of being a customer to the industry. They were encouraged by finding some blueprints and instructions online, put there by inventors and communities, whose plan is not to reap profit from everyone by selling their knowledge, but instead to share their knowledge for free so that all can benefit. A research team at Taltec the only technical university in Estonia has named this Cosmolocalism. It means knowledge is shared freely all over the world and things are built using the information right at the spot where it will be used. When a typical device is constructed, it has to be okay for lots of different users, but this tends to mean mainstream cases. To maximise profits, some companies may not allow consumers to repair or customise their devices. Cosmolocalism is an idea that tries to counter this scenario. To be exact, it's the name of a research project looking for ventures that are seeking a sustainable economy. It is better to produce less of the general kind and more of the kind that suits local needs and is produced locally. A factory might build 3,000 machines and then hope that these will all be sold. A community will build three if they need three or one if they need one. Ideas and knowledge can travel easily around the world, especially via the internet. Heavier items like tools and machinery can be shared locally, for example in maker spaces like this one. In this workshop, many devices have been built and adjusted during the process as needed, according to the results in the field. All has been documented, we've made pictures, videos, added blueprints. These we share with the world, uploading to similar forums from where we had gathered many ideas since the beginning. And we also have our own homepage. So basically anyone who can do a bit of web searching is able to access this information. So this is how all this building stuff started. More and more tools appeared next to me. Everyone got involved. It's a little scary at first, the technology. But I have seen that cooperation overcomes uncertainty. When all the inventing and building is in full swing, the fear vanishes, and success makes people smile. It looks like there are even plans to install a 3D printer here soon. 